As of Tuesday, more than half of the United States governors say Syrian refugees are not welcome. This following recent attacks in Paris, Lebanon and the Russian plane crash linked to the extremist group, the Islamic State. Documents found on a bomber in Paris claim he was a Syrian national who crossed into Europe through Greece, instilling fear that there may be more extremists amid the refugees accepted into the U.S. and its allied nations. Although the U.S. State Department says Arizona received 153 Syrian refugees so far this year, Governor Doug Ducey released a statement Monday saying, quote, Given the horrifying events in Paris last week, I'm calling for an immediate halt in the placement of any refugees in Arizona, a halt allowed by the law. House Majority Leader Steve Montenegro confirms Arizona lawmakers consulted with federal authorities who say the vetting process has gaps, feeding the concern. Even the FBI director a couple of months ago stated that the Fed, there is no way the federal government can properly vet but there's no way the federal government can properly do background checks on these refugees. But Vice President of the Syrian American Council, Sohaib Balaha, says blaming the victims by association is immoral. That fleeing families seeking a better life should not be condemned for the acts at the hands of the extremist few. Politicians want to uh, come up with good public statements to alleviate people's fear uh, to a point where it's not justifiable, but it's also understandable. But the mentality of blaming the victim and making people guilt by association, especially, especially victim of extremists themselves who have been forced to come here as refugees. Representative Montenegro stresses the American people are of the utmost priority for state lawmakers. And until a screening process they deem acceptable is put in place, the risk of accepting more Syrian refugees should be put on hold. What would you say to the people that are frowning upon states, including Arizona, that are now taking matters into their own hands, feeling that the federal government isn't accomplishing with the background checks? Right now we're dealing with refugees coming from the conflict zone. And our governor has made a statement that he wants to make sure we're doing everything that we can under the law as a state to protect our citizens. And that means making sure that these processes of vetting these refugees are being done right. It's ultimately up to the federal government to approve the requests to halt the flow of refugees. As states request more information, a deadline for an answer is not yet known. Reporting in Yuma, I'm Ellis Gamonian.